It has been eight months since we moved into this historic stone house. And from day one, we've been trying to uncover the truth about this place. After all this time, we are still gathering new pieces of the puzzle. But let's start from the beginning, from the day we moved here. This property is located in an Italian mountain village that still remembers medieval times. We fell in love with this place immediately. This stone house is very peculiar. It's partially renovated, but it looks like a very old construction. The energy of the house is very inviting. Even though it needs a lot of work. And the views from here are breathtaking. Here, life goes slowly, in pace with nature. Just behind the house, there are some ruins. One of the most extraordinary features of this place, alongside the house, is a little private stone chapel. Both the stone house and the chapel are a real mystery to us because their construction date is not present in any legal documents. They were registered in the land registers just in the 60s. That's why we have been trying to find out as much information as possible about the history of this place during all these months. But discovering the truth sometimes can be tough and bitter to swallow. Volevo chiedervi se riuscite a passare questa settimana. Come siete messi? Ah, ok. Sergio has just started to cut the grass in the orchard, but he decided to come back because something with the tractor does not seem to be right. These are Marco and Laura. 
the previous owners of this property. They came to visit us, and we want to ask them everything that they know about this place. And they also brought some missing documents for us. As Sergio and Marco were checking the tractor, Laura started telling me the story of the chapel. She does not know exactly who built it, nor exactly when. The only certain thing is that the chapel was passed as an inheritance through generations. Another thing that she was told about is that there was a priest in the family, an uncle of the grandmother. One more thing that we asked them regarding the chapel was about the statue of Mary that we found in one of the rooms of the house. Giusto Marco, che ha detto che era del 700 quel il professore a Cerra. Sì, la Madonna, sì, eh. perché quello è di carta pesto, no? Non era di gesso, che era di quella stava dentro la chiesa, però tutta la testa dopo l'abbiamo ricostruita. Poi se c'è bisogno di qualcosa Sto pittore ma ridipinto il viso, se no non era così. La gonna l'hanno rifatto loro, la gonna. Il mandello abbiamo rifatto tutto noi, proprio la stessa stoffa, capito? Perché là ci entravano le capre, avevano mangiato le capre, le capre, come vedete quando erano di spettacolo? Sì, sì, sì. E si sono mangiati la madonna. No, i vestiti. Ma che Poi lui e il mio genero hanno rimesso a posto, il tetto della chiesa, che era caduto. E quando, quando l'avevo messo a posto? Oh, nel... La, la chiesetta, Dove? fa 7 8 anni fa, eh, 10 sì, anni non fa. Non molto, ha rimesso tutto eh. il legno sopra, sì. Abbiamo ritrovato un coppo, eh, non sì. so, lo hai visto, 1880. Ah, me l'ha detto Marina. Marina. Diciassette agosto mille ottocento ottanta mille mille ottocento sotto di video mille ottocento What is this? August seventeen August seventeen one thousand eight hundred eighty something Incredible. which is probably the age of the roof the roof which means the house might be even low, older than that. We don't know. That's the closest that we can get till now. I hope now. we will discover how old it. it is. Yes, how old it is. Quindi già questo ti fa capire, 1870, questa casa già c'era. They told us that originally, on the ground floor, the house had barrel vaulted ceilings. Later on, the grandfather of Laura, Vinceslao, removed the vaulted ceiling because it was in very bad condition and replaced it with the current one. It's so unfortunate that the original vaulted ceiling is lost. 
Aste tutte le mie botte. E quando ah. sono venuto io, sono venuto a levare tutta una, una parte di legame qua, cioè le, qua le pecore tenevo qua, un po' di pecore eh, tenevo qua, le capre, le pecore. E tutti sta a fare che fate cascare, tutti ste, perché quello dopo è a botte, ma è ripieno di, di calcinacce. Di calcinacce e cose. Non è? E tu, tu, tu dici che qua sotto, qui sotto ci sono tutte pietre. Qua sì. ci sono fatti i rubi spai, ci sta tutte sì, sì, pietre. We discovered that the house is so old that it has no foundations. It was built on a layer of stones about 40 cm below the ground. No, ma si costruiva sulle rocce, si partiva da una base eh, di rocce. Quello era la fondazione. Ah, sì, sì. Ma penso che già avrà 200 la casa. La casa. Ma forse di te, più, pure di più. Anche di più. Te... Anche, perché di più. Cento, anche di più, perché 100 ce l'aveva il nonno adesso. 110, 120 ce l'aveva il nonno. Quella ha tenuto l'altra generazione ancora e forse ci stava ancora i so. bisnonni ancora. Penso non... Che un 300, 250 sicuro ho capito e sopra invece c'era il pavimento di legno e sopra sopra ci stavano le canne le canne di... Oh, sì, come, come se mi davvero quella di Marisa da qua come si chiama Marisa? Sa, quei due ruderi ci stanno, ci stanno il tetto con le cose di canna Marco and Laura confirmed that originally the entrance to the house was from the first floor and on the ground floor they used to keep the cattle. Sì, sì. Io forse c'è qualche qua, foto, ma la devo ritrovare. Eh, la devi ritrovare. Eh, eh, mo c'hai un copo. Eh, no, no, ce l'ho queste, però è che l'interessante era fare subito questo. Sì, sì. Questa la rete ci sta sopra, basta che rompono 20 cm si vede. They shared with us that this house has been abandoned for around 20 years before they inherited it and started coming here to take care of the place in the late 90s. It became their summer house and they never lived here permanently. <laughs> We are very grateful to Marco and Laura for shedding some light on the recent history of this place. But they left us with even more questions than before. In the old pictures we see that Marco put a reinforcing mesh on both sides of this wall. So why is it still problematic? And most importantly, what is the reason why this part of the wall is still unstable? And also, which are the true origins of the chapel? And when was it built? We still need to connect a few dots and figure out a few things to put these pieces of the puzzle together.
The renovation of the chapel has been started by the previous owners and this is how it currently looks inside. Si deve fare il rinforzamento, vedi le crepe lì? Uh -huh. Anche qua, questa parte qui. No, perché sono venuti questi crepe qui? Perché, perché qui ha ceduto un po' il terreno sotto. Però perché? si mantiene perché ci sono delle, dei rinforzi lì. Perché ha ceduto? Con l'acqua che... per l'acqua. L'acqua che veniva sotto, sì, dici? Sì, sì. One of the modern methods of stabilizing buildings is to inject liquid resin up to 3 meters below the ground level. Di resina, in modo che si stabilizza la casa, su tutto questo fronte qua. Allora noi praticamente dentro non possiamo fare niente finché non... Non facciamo questo lavoro qui. In modo dobbiamo stabilizzarla. Solo questa parte qua. Dall'altra parte sta bene. Praticamente ha ceduto questo angolo qui? Sì. Sì. Since our first days here, we noticed that the upper floor is somehow not leveled. Moreover, there are visible cracks on the walls and also on the floor. I want to check how much slope is there on the first floor. not start the renovation inside until we fix this reinforcement outside. Però se ti guardi il serpio che ho visto io, da dentro, le crepe sono solo nella camera da dentro, ma di fuori non ci sono, non le hanno tappate e basta. No, 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 stanno qua, guarda. Based on the information that we gathered so far, it looks like there are two main problems the absence of foundations underneath the house and the lack of a proper drainage system as water penetrates under the base structure of the house, making it unstable. So, to be sure that the house is stable, there are two urgent works to be done. One is the reinforcement of the problematic corner of the house and another is building an efficient drainage system in front of the house. 
First, we need to take the measurements of the problematic corner so that Sergio can get in touch with companies and check the available options for fixing it. But we have one more thing to do before tomorrow. Thirty three. Sixty two by thirty three. They already were measured? No, they look like. From here. I think. Okay, but you see this, this like drawings, they are like uh, exact representation of this. Uh, There is one glassware workshop in Martin Sicuro, and we want to see which could be the possibilities for the new windows of the chapel. Who's But before we make the final decision about the stained glasses, we will explore more in terms of the traditional designs of the region. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Noi, noi diamo, possiamo dare un quello che vogliamo, il disegno mm -hmm. che vogliamo, il design che vogliamo e lei lo, lo, può, lo pro, le produce. Sì. Ok. 
Ok. E basta. Va bene. In the meantime, Silvia, Sergio's mother, is doing her daily routine. She is 94 now. In Martin Sicuro, one of the traditions is to play cards with Silvia after dinner. We play two classical traditional Italian games, Briscola and Tre Sette. So I'm taking it, okay? We rarely manage to win against Silvia. Fun. <laughs> ah! Nothing changed. Non è cambiato niente. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Sempre lo stesso. Go. neighbor Gianluca came to visit us. We are showing him the old pictures that Marco and Laura, the previous owners, found among their family photos and sharing with him about the situation of the house. Ma cosa? Le bombe. Una volta come era venuto qua a notte. Sì. C'era una volta con le le cose a carrozza, una volta mi hanno tolto tutto e ci hanno messo questo. di che anno è? Ma che sì? Non sappiamo. Lui dice che aveva il fratello di un bisnonno che era prete e per questo è stato ah, fatto. Ah, è stata fatta questa chiave. Ah. Okay. Ma piuttosto, giù se riesci a scavare un po' sotto la fondazione, <coughs> meglio è. Meglio è perché tu vai a creare un appoggio sotto, anche tutto non lo puoi fare. Perché se no, no, però, se no casca. Però già se prende 30 cm. Il muro già gli dà una buona stabilità. Una chiaro, chiaro. E poi va, ci si mette la rete, metà una rete di gara, una gabbia di ferro e poi si deve gettare tutto insieme. Sì. Questo è proprio la rete sopra, ha fatto un bel lavoro, ci ha messo la rete di C10, quello sì. dovresti fare una cosa buona, questo è stato caduto il cemento, mette la rete dentro una carro per bene, lo rincadini con sotto, allora ho fatto un po' di lavoro. Queste due pari di qua, la rete. Più o meno fino a qua. Perché questa uh, ultima crepa è questa, fino a qui. Mm. What about this car? Because in the in the Wajenka, at the end there is like a collapse. What is it? Si, vogliamo andare a Il pavimento è proprio in pendenza. Yeah, the, the corner, this rough angle is the, the worst condition. Ah, il pavimento è andato a scendere un'altra, ma qua c'è tutto proprio un po'. Ah, questo sì. Un po' crepato. And it looks like it's like from here, because here already collapsed. Here already went down. Here, here, you can see. Mm -hmm. It's like this part. Da qua è come se... Sì, però mettendo giù sotto tu dici quello si stabilizza, no? Sì. Penso di sì. Un po' pende sicuro. Ma tanto! Pende, pende. Tanto, tanto pende. Tanto. Tanto. Tantissimo, è proprio si sente. Questa parte qui, qui davanti... Sì. One of the companies that Sergio contacted regarding the reinforcement of the house came to examine the situation. Infatti, ti interessa da lì, ecco, guardi, parte, dal, parte da lì dalla finestra praticamente. A so, prescindere l'apertura di quella porta. Sì. Eh, allora. Grazie. Grazie. Buona giornata. Grazie. 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 Grazie mille. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. The old cement around the chapel is cracked. We are going to pour new cement so that the water does not seep underneath. But first, we need to make a clearance. Hmm? 
Since we started this journey of discovering the roots of our place, spring has silently turned into summer. And while we've been putting the pieces of the puzzle together, trying to find a way forward, harvest time has arrived. Choosing this place as our home was not a logical decision, but rather an emotional one. We just fell in love with it from the first moments. We knew that it's not perfect, but it felt like our place. Obviously, when you buy a historic house, you know there is a lot of work to be done. And it's not for everyone. But when there is love, you can deal with everything, despite the pains and difficulties. Now that Atom is slowly stepping in, after months of research and evaluation of possible solutions, we are finally ready to start the reinforcement works. Before starting the reinforcement works, we opened a piece of the wall to examine the stonework situation and check whether the wall inside is stable or not. And the situation is quite serious, because there are empty spots inside the wall. The lime mortar is gone and the stones have started to move out, making the structure unstable. So, we also need to reinforce this part of the wall with mesh and concrete to make sure that this part of the house is stable. We would like to expose the stones but unfortunately, that's not possible here. Our neighbor Jack is having a little snack break. People from the company who are helping us with the reinforcement works asked us for privacy, so we will not show their faces. At the end of the day, we decided to choose a more intrusive but tried and tested method of stabilizing the house. In this case, just inject resin under the floor level would not be sufficient to solve the situation. Together with the reinforcement works, we will also level the floor of the patio, get rid of the unnecessary pillars and replace them with metal supports to make the patio more spacious. This wall is in much worse shape than we expected and at this point we are very glad that we chose to reinforce it the old-fashioned way with concrete cages as advised by our friend Gianluca 
rather than the new method which just injects resin in the foundations without assessing the condition of the wall structure. The sand and gravel needed for the works have arrived. The sewage pipes were placed too close to the surface of the floor and they caused cracks in it. So, as we are going to lay a new floor, we decided to place the pipes deeper underground and also to make the floor flatter because it was too steep. It looks like there was a door here in the past. These metal cages will be placed as close as possible to the base of the stone walls and then filled with concrete. It will ensure stability to the structure of this problematic part of the house.
we decided to put the gutters below the floor level. Sergio is preparing the space for placing the gutters underground. We also asked people from the company to put to the ground the ruins behind the house so that slowly we can collect the stones and reuse them for future projects and make better use of this space. We want to preserve the wooden elements such as beams and doors and possibly restore and reuse them in the future. In order to reach the deepest parts of this 80 cm thick stone wall and secure it, we will use plastic pipes to inject liquid cement inside the wall. This will make it more stable. To further strengthen the wall, we put a reinforcing mesh on this part of the house as well. This is a thick layer of concrete. Now, another layer of mixed lime cement plaster. And now the finishing layer.
we found a bucket of the original paint in the garage. And it is amazing because we can finish it with the same color. And maybe in the future we will even manage to finish the rest of the house. The works at the problematic corner and the patio are over. Next step will be the drainage system. We had this wish to expose the stone wall and eventually we managed to make at least a little accent. Many months passed, but the presence of this stone chapel continues to be a mystery. Apart from the information that we've managed to gather for all these months and the accidental discovery of the tragic condition of the stone wall after we uncovered it, our last chance to find out the truth is the upcoming visit. We are going to visit our neighbors whose family has lived here for many generations. <coughs> Tonino is eighty six. <laughs> Maria Teresa moved here from a nearby mountain village after she married Tonino. No vecchi, che si lega ancora di più, no, più, più perché ormai i figli sono tutti mali <laughs> e parla solo il marito, ma vi già andare a casa, la si vede per casa. Ma... No, lo sapete quando è stata costruita quella casa? No. Eh no, guarda. Guarda, eh. sono le gente di casa. Ma che mi ricordo io, là ci sono vissuti. Tre, tre generazioni di vecchi, gli ultimi sono stati di Terlao. The grandfather of Laura. Tu vi in Terlao, ha avuto pure una cavalla bianca e ha avuto pure, no, prima della cavalla, aveva una sumara e mi ricordo io. Passavo qua, passavo la sera notte, qua a cavallo. Eh, Tonino, non ricordi della chiesa? Ma è vero che stava aperta quando fu la chiesa. Mi hanno detto che aveva aperta la porta della chiesetta. Ce l'abbiamo visto dentro? Eh, io gli sento che è aperta pure la chiesetta, quella. Se ti non lo so. Eh, va ancora, va, va ancora ristrutturata dentro. Le veste, le veste dentro. La chiesa è stata sì. costruita, sono, quella è privata, non esisteva neanche uh, i catastamenti. Ah. Mi hai capito? Still nothing. No, quello l'hanno fatto così privatamente. La, la, la porta della chiesa. Avanti la porta, c'era un vinettino più piccolo di questo video. Una che era curiosa di guardarla, andava per il cosino avanti la porta, sì. e dentro vedeva tutto. Dai! A destra dell'altare c'era una porta e c'era la casa. Era così alto, come questa tavola. 
แล้วจากมันไม่เกิดขึ้นเลยไปเจอลำเดียวไปลำบานานี่สิลำบานน่าเล่นกรูดี This is how they called Mary ปริกาพีกับมาฮาดอนตาลากรูเธอยิบบอกเมริกาที่กับไปกับเพื่อนเราริกันตันเราลาลูกับเพื่อนลุงบอนตาลาที่มอสซี่ลาลูกเราไม่รับเบอร์รับเบอร์ที่เรียกรู้ดีมันเจ้ากับเพื่อนที่ทุกคำนี้ตัวสกีนกว่าเป็นลูกเราดารุลาตุปารีอามาดอนนักสุดยาบดีเจนุ่ยปารีวุนัทีเจจี It's very touching to see how deep and alive is still their connection to Mary and the chapel. Ma non è che è stato distrutto quando è crollato il tetto della chiesa? Eh, forse quello. And here we are, eight months later, still looking into the past. We've managed to piece together some of the puzzle, but the origins of our new home remain hidden. Perhaps lost forever. But at least these few memories that showed up will now be carried on by us. Who knows? Maybe the future will give us a better insight into the past. But for now, one crucial discovery about the state of the walls and foundation has brought us an important transformation. It allowed us to fix a dangerous situation in the hope that this house will withstand not only our presence but countless generations to come. Italy is rich with immeasurable amounts of stone houses that date back thousands of years. So perhaps this house is no different. Our friend Gregorio, whose family lived here for generations, once said, "This house has been here forever." So maybe this house is to be recognized as timeless, since the only memory left might be stored in the stones themselves. But at least we have a new patio, and with this. We can open the next chapter of our journey. new to the channel and want to know more about our journey, watch this video. If you want to see more episodes of our journey, subscribe and stay with us.